Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313 and welcome to another one of my installation tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be installing Thermal Expansion version 2.0.3 for Minecraft 1.4.2. It's made by King Lemming, C-O-F-H. Okay, and uh, it's, it's a pretty awesome mod. I just found out about it a few days ago and I figured well, let's go ahead and just start off with a uh, installation tutorial, and possibly maybe in the future we can have a mod spotlight on it. But for now, I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, to install it, it's very, very simple. All you need is you need the you know mod download. Go ahead and click that link; it'll take you through and you know do everything. And then you need Minecraft Forge. But pay attention on this one, please. Go to files.minecraftforge.net. The link will be in the description of the video, and this is where you can find all the all the uh, versions of Minecraft Forge. I recently tried to use this one, and it doesn't work. So my suggestion to you is to not use 6.2.1 just yet. Give it a little bit, and then they'll work out a few of the things. So for this installation tutorial, we're going to be using Minecraft Forge 6.0.1.355. If you don't use this version and it doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. Make sure you just use this version. It's simple. Just go ahead, click on it, download it. And what I did is I just put it in my desktop right here. I have Minecraft Forge Universal 6.0.1.355, and then I have Thermal Expansion version 2.0.3. So let's go ahead and install it. I'm going to show you how to install it three different ways, one using the regular .minecraft shortcut way, one using the multi-MC way, and one using Mag Magic Launcher. They all work. They're all awesome. just depends on which one you like better. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to choose them because the link should be popping up on the screen right now, the little annotations and whatnot. At least I hope they are, unless I forgot. And now let's go ahead and start to install using the regular .minecraft shortcut way. Now, if you don't already have a shortcut on your desktop, the way that you can find it is going to the Start menu, type percent app data, percent. This will take you to your RAMing folder, in which case you can find your .minecraft folder. Now, this is the most important thing, and I stress it in every single installation tutorial. Make sure you have a brand new .minecraft, all right? If you have done anything to the minecraft.jar, or you've added anything to it, or it's modified in any way, just take this .minecraft um, thing, delete it, all right? Just delete it, get rid of it, make sure it's out of your life. Of course, before you do that, you're going to back up your .minecraft if you have anything important in there. Don't blame me for anything you screw up. Um, and then the next thing that you're going to do is you could just go ahead and you can start up Minecraft. Uh, when you log in and you do all that, it's going to download everything again and you're going to have brand new .minecraft folder. Uh, of course, it just creates one when you open it up. But I happen to have a backup of a vanilla 1.4.2, so I'm just going to copy and paste that right there. Alright, so now when you find your .minecraft, you're going to go to your bin, you're going to right-click on minecraft.jar, and you're going to click Open with WinRAR Archiver. It's going to bring up that. Now, you do need a WinRAR Archiver or a similar uh, archiving program. You can also use 7-Zip. You know, they all work. It just depends on which one you want to use. Uh, you're going to click on this Meta Inf folder right here, and you're going to press the Delete button. That's going to delete it. Make sure it's, it's gone. You don't have it anywhere, because uh, you don't want it because it will screw things up. Now you're going to find where you have Minecraft Forge downloaded to. You're going to double click on that to open it up. This little window is going to pop up. And then you're going to simply select everything in here. I like to just press Control A. It'll select everything. If we scroll down, we can see that everything is in fact selected, which is awesome. I like to deselect this top folder. I don't know if it really does anything, but it makes me feel better inside, so I deselect it. Now you're going to click and drag everything in here into your Minecraft.jar. It's going to ask you if you want to do that, and you're going to say yes. It's going to do all that fun stuff. Once it's finished, you're going to exit out, you're going to exit out, you're going to exit out, and then you're going to start up Minecraft, and we're going to log in. Just make sure that everything, everything works. We're going to make sure that Minecraft is happy with what we have done with it, and uh, if anything uh, is screwed up in this part of the installation tutorial, you know that your problem was with Minecraft Forge, and that you need to either get a different version, or make sure that you installed it correctly. Uh, now, once you have this screen and you know that everything works, you can go ahead and just quit game. And we're going to go back into our .minecraft shortcut. You're going to see a whole bunch of new folders that are, have been created. You should be focused on this mods folder right here. So it's your .minecraft slash mods folder. And you're going to find where you downloaded thermal expansion to. And you're going to click. You're going to copy and paste it right there. There it is right there in your mods folder. Make sure it doesn't go in any other folder but the mods folder. And you're going to exit out of that, and you can go ahead and start up Minecraft. Now, once it starts up, and everything loads up all right, and everything works, and I prove to you that I have done it correctly, and that you can do it correctly if you follow these instructions, I'm going to start up a new world, and we're going to go ahead 
and we're just going to make sure that everything is installed correctly. Creative, there we go. Hopefully in a second we should see it all load up, we should see the mods in our inventory, the mod items rather. So we're in our creative inventory, that little thing we get out of our way. Go over here, thermal expansion has its own little tab and you can see that everything is installed correctly. That is awesome, isn't it? I think it is. So there you go, congratulations, you have installed it correctly using uh, you know the regular dot .minecraft shortcut way. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it using MultiMC. It's very easy to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and just open up MultiMC. There's a new build available. I'm going to go ahead and download and install it. Oh, look at that all fancy and new interface. That's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and click on Add a New Instance. We're going to name it Thermal, if I can spell it correctly, Expansion. There we go. We're going to press Enter. It's right there. We're going to right-click on it and click Edit Mods. Once we have that, we have a whole bunch of these things right here. We have core mods, mods folder, core mods, jar mods. We have all that fun stuff. Now in jar mods, you actually don't have to download Minecraft Forge in order to do this. Like you don't have to select it, you don't have to find it, and put it on your desktop. Instead, what you can do is when you're in the jar mods tab, click MC Forge. It's going to bring you. It's going to bring up a menu with all the versions of Forge that are listed right here. Like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you're using Minecraft Forge Universal 6.0.1.355. Don't use a 6.2.1 just yet. Uh, I think they have something that doesn't exactly work with it just yet. So let's go ahead and find that. We're going to click OK. It's going to download it. And then it's going to put it in there. How awesome is that? Now in the mods folder, this is where you're going to put thermal expansion. Again, make sure it's in the mods folder and you don't have it in the core mods or the texture packs. It goes in the mods folder. So just to recap, we have jar mods that has Minecraft Forge, and mods folder has thermal expansion. We're going to close out, we're going to double click, we're going to log in, it's going to download everything, it's going to install everything, and we should see that everything works just fine. Just give it a few seconds. Or minutes. Of course, like always, after it starts up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a new world just so you can see that everything is installed correctly, and uh, you know it's all working wonderfully. Let's go ahead and single player, create new world, create new world, creative, that way we have the creative inventory. It's going to load world, it's going to build terrain, it's going to do all that fun stuff. And we should see that everything installs correctly. Alright, let's open up our inventory. Let's go over here, and thermal expansion. There we go. I think that's enough proof for you that everything worked correctly. Oh, sound has turned up quite a bit. So, yeah. That's that's thermal expansion. You just installed it correctly using MultiMC. Couldn't have been any easier. You just clicked a few buttons, clicked and dragged one file, and you know just double clicked on the instance and loaded it up. So ho hopefully you did that correctly. Uh, if you did, good job. And let's go ahead and install it using the Magic Launcher way. Now if you're going to do it using the Magic Launcher, make sure you have a regular, uh, brand new .minecraft folder. Uh, since I just showed you guys how to install it using the .minecraft shortcut way, my .minecraft was not vanilla, it was modified, so I'm going to just go ahead and copy and paste a new one in there. And once we have that, we can go ahead and we can start up Magic Launcher. We're going to go to Setup, and we're going to create a new configuration. We're going to name this Thermal Expansion. There we go. We're going to click OK. And you can see that the Minecraft.jar that it is using is Minecraft 1.4.2, and you can see that the uh, it's actually named minecraft.jar. There you go. So after you have that, you're just simply going to click Add. And once you have that, you're going to find wherever you have the two mods downloaded, being Minecraft Forge and the Thermal Expansion mod. I happen to have them on my desktop, so I should be able to find that by going right there, right there. And there we go. We have Minecraft Forge Universal 6.0.1.355. And we have th thermal expansion. If you hold control and you click on more than one, you can go ahead and open up both uh, at the same time. So there you go. You have Minecraft Forge, and then you have thermal expansion. Make sure that Minecraft Forge is first. It may, uh, you know, copy in there so that Minecraft Forge is right there. You're going to get this error that says there's no Forge right there. So make sure that this is in fact moved up and it's at the top of the list. It says there's one error, but don't worry about it. It's just probably confused about what it has to do. You're going to log in. It's going to set up the Minecraft environment and all that fun stuff. That's what Forge does. 
And once it loads up, I'm just going to create a new world and I'm going to show you that everything is installed correctly. Let's go ahead, single player, create new world, creative, new world. There we go. It's going to load up any second now, any second. There we are, let's go ahead and open our inventory. We're going to go to the next page, and there we go, we have thermal expansion. We have the all the fun things that come with liquid expansion. We have all that fun stuff. Thermal expansion, expansion, shazam! Item and inventory converted. Okay. All right, I don't, I don't know what that's talking about. Anyway, it works. It's all there. Everything is installed correctly. We you saw that I loaded it up correctly. So if you are having any problems installing this mod, you can go ahead and do a few things. One, you can go ahead and you can send me a YouTube private message. In that private message, you can go ahead and include all the versions of the mods that you're using. So include Minecraft Forge, include the version that you have, and include the version of Thermal Expansion that you have. Also include any other mod that you may have with it, and um, you know just put that all in the message. The next thing that you can do is you can go ahead and just send me the error report. If it gives you an error report, go ahead and send me that. If it doesn't give you an error report, don't worry about it. And uh, the last thing that you're going to include in that message is just say what went wrong. Uh, just tell me what what happened. What exactly didn't work? Um, did it just come up with a black screen? You know, try to include as many details as possible. That way, I can try and figure out what happened and what went wrong where. Um, so, if this tutorial has helped you, I want to ask you to help me out and leave a like on the video. It definitely will help me out a lot. Um, be sure to be subscribed, uh, that way you don't miss any future videos that I have. And uh, other than that, I want to just thank you for watching, and I will see you all in my next tutorial.